Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 32. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to configure communication ports for a DB2 instance. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. The problem statement is how to configure communication ports for a DB2 instance. The solution is very straightforward, uh, simple, and it comprises of three steps. First step is to set the db2com registry variable. You can use the command db2 set space db2com equal to tcpip. So this will enable the db2 server for tcpip communications. The second step is to update the etc services file uh, with port number information and the service name information. Like for this db2 instance, uh, this is the port number in which it should listen. So that has to be done in the etc services file. The next uh, step is to update the DBM CFG parameter SVC name. So uh, you have to attach to your uh, instance and update DBM CFG using SVC name, that particular SVC name. So this is the same name that you will be updating in the services file as well. Okay. After that, you just need to restart the instance with the db2 stop and db2 start commands. So it's very simple steps. Uh, we will uh, look, look into examples in a detailed way. Okay. So here actually I am having uh, an instance db2 inst2 okay so now first I want to choose the port okay so I am just choosing 47000 it is completely arbitrary so you can choose any port you want so first we have to make sure that that particular port is free and it, no other application is listening there right so we can use the command telnet localhost 47000 like this see it's unable to connect to remote host so which means that uh, that particular port currently there is no program uh, which is running in that port so we can use that port okay the next thing I will do is set the registry variable db2 set db2 com equal to tcp ip okay okay even before this we just make sure db2 get instance okay I am in db2 inst2 okay so now I will just give that db2 set db2 com equal to tcp ip so I am setting the uh, TCP IP registry variable, enabling the communication. Okay. Then after that, I'll show you the SVC name. Okay. So you, you can see that SVC name is null by default when you create the instance. So we have to update it. So you can use any any name here. It it need not be an instance name. See here I am using db2 underscore inst2 like that. Okay. I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. Okay, the update is also successful. And after this, I have to update the etc services file. So this is one important file. So for this, we need to do only in the root access. Okay. So I'm opening another terminal and I'm uh, issuing command sudo su hyphen. Then it will go into the root mode like that. I'll say vi slash etc slash services okay so this is the this is the file wherein we have to give our entry so here you can see in the last see here that is the instance name and the uh, protocol that it should use okay so i'm going to put one more entry here db2 underscore inst2 like that okay and uh, i am hitting a tab here then i'm going to say 47 1 2 3 slash tcp okay so that's it escape colon wk so the etc services file is now updated and another important thing that you you should look at is so when we are updating the etc services file see that this is like a single entry which means it's a non-partitioned environment so if it is a partitioned environment your etc service file entry will be something like this so it will be like a you know logical node 0 node 1 node 2 node 3 like that okay and the first one is your node 0 and this particular thing db2 underscore db2 it should be updated in your uh, dbm cfg for the instance okay so this is like in a partition environment instead of a single entry it will be multiple entries because there are multiple nodes in a partition environment whereas uh, in our environment it's a non partition environment single uh, partition environment so we i'm just using db2 underscore inst2 47000 tcp ip so here also underscore should come okay and then we i have just have to restart my uh, instance so db2 stop 
it's already stopped so i'll just start my instance okay so it's done so now how i'll verify uh, it is running there so telnet local host 47123 yes so it is now connected to local host and the escape characters this means uh, that port is uh, you know uh, is is listening and there is some service that is listening in this port and uh, that's our db2 instance which we have configured okay so now i can quit from the telnet so it is it is very simple so these are the three simple steps one is to set the registry variable db2 set db2 com equal to tcp ip which is like enabling tcp ip communication then you have to update your svc name and whatever the svc name you update here you have to update it in the services file as well uh, you have to put an entry in the services file as well so if you can look at the services file i will just show you another time cat slash etc slash services so this is the entry db2 underscore inst2 47000 it's as simple as that so that's it in this video tutorial uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy see you in the next tutorial video bye bye